the XGS IPS is actually very good in implementing policies uh, to limit traffic in you know whatever direction it is and in varying conditions but let's say that the use case that we present in here uh, calls for I want my IPS to deny incoming traffic traffic initiated from the outside in on machines that are critically vulnerable I want to I want to get some enforcing enforcing here and say I'm not happy with the way that my uh, patching is going uh, and I want to enforce I want to make sure that you know when I have systems are way too vulnerable that they do not uh, get exposed uh, to incoming traffic from the internet but the problem is that the XGS doesn't know about vulnerabilities per se or curator does and here in my asset database I have in this very simple uh, demo system I have several system a Red Hat a Windows Server and a Windows 7 machine that has some particular vulnerabilities with an aggregated CVSS, which is the uh, addition of all those, uh, the weight of all those, uh, or the CVSS of all, each and every one of those vulnerabilities. And I want to create, you know, I want to communicate this with my, my uh, IPS. And for that, there is a new app uh, in the App Exchange called IBM Curator Network Protection Connector, in which uh, you can actually uh, specify uh, several rules. So I'm, I here I have two rules. One is actually very simple. That basically says anything that is uh, has a vulnerability greater than two should get into this list called critical asset. And we see that you know it picked up the Windows Server, the Red Hat, and the Windows uh, NT machine. Good. But I have a, uh, another policy here that is a little bit more sophisticated. I want to show you the capabilities in it. Uh, you, you, you can not only look for number of vulnerabilities, but also name of a machine, uh, the vendor, the type of product, and the aggregated CVSS, as you can see. And in here we say, if we have uh, more than 10 vulnerabilities and the product is Linux, like that Red Hat box that we had, and the aggregated uh, CVSS is greater than 2,000, then that creates uh, that list and that's uh, this list uh, I can run it now it runs every uh, every hour you can set it up in the settings to change that to make it more frequently or, or, or less frequent than that and as you see that list actually uh, picked up the asset uh, Red Hat that was here on my asset uh, database because the aggregated CVSS is greater than 2,000 and has more than 10 vulnerabilities, so it's obviously picked that up. The beauty is that now, if I go to my XGS console and click in here on this tab under list, I have those lists created from the uh, curator box. Uh, so I can have these, uh, these, uh, the, the, the one that we actually uh, saw at the beginning, the, the WinBain, actually that comes uh, by default in it. If we actually, while selecting that, click on edit, we should get, and um, yes, and we, that's the IP address of the Red Hat box uh, that uh, got into my asset database by virtue of my uh, uh, vulnerability scanner. Um, and now it's uh, visible to the XGS. So now I can create uh, uh, a new policy. So let's say that I'm going to put uh, this one in order number four. And I want to say that uh, when the source is external networks, move this to the right, and the destination is, uh, for example, my critical assets, and I save that configuration then the action is going to be to uh, reject any traffic that comes from the external network into my critical asset and those are the assets that are that meet that criteria that I that I actually specify I need to actually uh, deploy the changes Let me actually do that quickly And that is really everything I needed to do. So <laughs> now 
as long as that those devices that falls into this critical asset uh, category because they they have that type of uh, particular vulnerabilities exist then the incoming traffic is going to be denied should you use big fix or any other means to quickly go ahead and and, and fix that uh, vulnerability once the new uh, check-in that again is specified by default every hour takes place and those devices are no longer in that list of critical assets uh, then uh, the incoming traffic will be allowed again a simple case of integration that could take you a great deal of coding if you don't have these tools but uh, with curator and the xgs is uh, completely out of the box